cooking the team effort. And do you think that your team should be penalized for you? Or do you think you should resign? Yeah. Wow. Ah. Yes, put that hot water. What are, you, what are you starting with right now? The crustacean broth first. Okay. Our team is doing a five-course tasting menu that's very, very far out of my rustic comfort zone. Shirley will be doing the first course, snapper crudo. And then you get to smoke it. Yes, I'm going to smoke yes. it. I'll be in charge of the mussels. Shirley and I are sharing responsibility on the chicken course. You need to clean the fat. Nick will be doing Cornish game hen with chocolate and a corn silk bird's nest. Are you sealed before? A little bit, once, actually. It's like big hair, you know. As well as the dessert, almond panna cotta with plum. Oh, good. good. Nick's very comfortable with these concepts, and he wants to take responsibility for both, and I couldn't put any more trust into someone. First course, uh, we were using olive. This is Shirley's dish, dehydrated green and black olive with a snapper ceviche. On the side is more dehydrated black olive with an olive oil ice cream. This is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley's dish was absolutely incredible. The freshness of that fish, and of course the freshness of the ice cream, the beautiful. I like the ice cream, I like the fish. I don't like it together. The ice cream eats too sweet compared to the fish. There's a great quality of olive oil that just sort of lifted it. Spanish olive oil. Oh, see, see that? Oh my god, oh, it's cheating. See that? Pickled and poached mussels. Underneath is a gelée of fresh tomato, and then it's finished with a little bit of ciabatta breadcrumb just for some crunch. There is some serious old school cooking going on here. And then there's also modern twists. It's just, you know, great muscle flavor. You know, I had some issues with Stephanie's muscles. I had some grit in mine. But flavor-wise, I thought the dish was fabulous. Uh, this is uh, Shirley and Stephanie's dish. It is a chicken liver mousse with chicken bouillon, roasted maitake, and honsubishi mushrooms. Thank you. Thank you. Shirley and Stephanie dish, wow. Amazing flavor in my mouth right now. It's really very intense, delicious. And that mousse, I mean, I'm amazed. I'm not really crazy about the mousse, uh, softer like that, but, but I like the bird. What do you think about Nicholas's chocolate course? Progressive. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Do you like that? You like that? You kidding? Oh my god. You know what that's it? The thought process was there, but the execution just fell flat. I'm happy to see that Nicholas has immunity because texturally, this is like what you pull out of the drain after you take a shower when I had hair. I don't have it. When I was losing my hair, this is what it looked like. Out again, my dish, uh, where it focuses on almond, Marcona almond flan, fresh plum, bitter, cocoa nib crumble, and I actually finished with uh, fresh licorice. Thank you, Chef. Let's start with the plum and almonds. Mm, so smooth. But I think you needed to take to the next uh, level. It's not as clean as it should have been. The flavors are all nice, the textures are nice, but the actual custard of flan itself is just not very good. Unfortunately, your team was our least favorite tonight. And Nicholas, since you have immunity, Shirley or Stephanie, one of you will be going home. Who made the olive oil ice cream? We all thought that, that was a great way of using olives. Some of us weren't so sure about ice cream and fish together. Chef Dominique definitely pushed for it. And then I felt it was really cool. I wasn't so sure about the ice cream, but I think what you did representing olives worked on the plate. Thanks, Stephanie, walk through the muscle dish, because it's really complex. There's a lot going on there. Would I have necessarily thought of this dish? I don't think I ever would. I mean, it was just so out there to me. It was really well executed. And you made the consomme, Shirley? I made a consomme. I literally made a raft, did a whole nine yard, super classical French. That consomme looked so clear, so light, so beautiful, and yet there was such a deep earthiness to it. I think it was excellent. I mean, very classic for me. Nicholas, let's talk about your chicken and chocolate. How did you feel about the dish when you were finished? It was outside of my comfort zone. It was outside of your comfort zone. Did you like the dish? I liked the sauce. It was bitter. It was had a little bit of heat to it. Um, it had a lot of Madeira, but I didn't, we didn't, I didn't get, get any, any of that. Of that. Like, we got straight chocolate. Okay. I mean, would you go and serve that if you had a restaurant? Would you sit down, give it to your mother, and say, "This is really good"? Oh sure. It was probably our least favorite dish tonight. Clearly, you're not feeling good about this. Obviously not, chef. Yeah, but it's only going to get worse. I understand because that. The dessert was I understand, equally chef. bad. Thank you, chef. The texture was a bit granulated. Was not. A panne cotta didn't work. Yes, sir. I mean, you guys are in a tough position because you're the only two choices we have here. 
and we just got done telling you how much we loved your dishes. Cooking is a team effort. And do you think that your team should be penalized for you? Or do you think you should resign? I thought I did well enough yesterday to earn immunity today, Chef. Part of the game. Chefs, that'll be all for now. Thank you. Not, but I can guarantee it's either Shirley or I. They said my dishes sucked. I'm the reason why we're on the bottom. And if it was me, I'd be going home. And that I should resign. If I had had the weakest dish, but I had immunity, in all honesty, I, I would have given the immunity up. Though I consider him a friend, and we've talked about the importance of this competition to both of us, I can't even look at him right now. It's really a tough decision, because if immunity wasn't in play, Nicholas would be going home. I think it sucks that we're up for elimination and Nicholas had the worst dish on the team. If I'm in the same spot, um, take the fall and fight back in Last Chance Kitchen. I think we have our answer. It's not a satisfying answer. No, it's an answer. It's an answer. I'm still hoping Nicholas comes out here and falls on the sword. Stephanie. Please pack your knives and go. Yeah. He won immunity fair and square. He deserved it. It's part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Came down to that. yeah. We knew. <laughs> I went home making a dish that I'm very proud of. At least I know that I was a really serious contender, and I always was good enough. All right, good luck. Love you. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Love you, Steph. Love you, too.